Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how hackers are able to gain access to sensitive information such as the victim name, victim occupation, GPS location, and even social media profiles. All of this can be done by using Image OSINT. Now, Image OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence, and it basically means gathering information on the internet or from other public resources. Before we move on to the video, I would like to say thank you for your support and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Now let's dive into the video. Now Image OSINT has been growing in the cybersecurity community, especially with AI being accessible to the public. Now you might be wondering how hackers even use an image information to access someone's sensitive data. The answer to that is that hackers can do many things with the information obtained from an image. From the tools I'll be showing you, hackers will be able to uncover information such as the victim's name, location, occupation, and even social media profiles. By having this data, hackers can execute targeted phishing attacks that can be extremely effective since these attacks will be customly crafted towards the victim as well as hackers would be able to create more convincing social engineering attacks on the target. Now there are many tools for gathering information of an image, but in this video, I'll be focusing on three main tools. EXIF tool, which is a command line tool, as well as PimEyes and Yandex, which are websites that we can use for image OSINT. Now I wanted to give you the option of using a command line tool such as EXIF tool. EXIF tool comes pre-installed on Kali Linux and you can install it manually on any Unix platform as well. And I'll be using it to extract metadata from an image. Now please note that when you upload an image to any well-known social media website, the image metadata will be automatically deleted by that website. So other users will not be able to extract the original image data. But for example, if you emailed that image, the other person will be able to download that image and extract its metadata. So let me show you how to extract an image metadata using EXIF tool on Linux. So here I have Kali Linux running. First, I will open a terminal. To check if you have EXIF tool installed, simply type its name in the terminal. So I'm gonna do EXIF tool, hit enter. And if you have the tool installed, it will show you something similar to this. And in case you don't have it installed, it would say command exif tool not found. In that case, if you don't have it installed, you can install it using sudo apt-get install exif tool. And this command will install exif tool for you. In my case, I already have it installed since it comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. Now I want to know more about that tool. And to do that, I'm gonna do man exif tool. This command will show us the exif tool options and how we can use it. I'm gonna hit enter. And as you can see, there are many attributes and options that we can specify to make the tool perform how we want. For example, we can modify the metadata of an image. We can extract metadata from the image itself. So we can use this tool to do almost everything when it comes to working with image files. In my case, for this video, I just want to print the image metadata and we can actually do that without specifying any option. So I will just hit Q to quit this page. Now we're back at the terminal. I'm gonna do EXIF tool again and I'm gonna specify the image that I want to run this tool on. And I have a couple of example pictures in the pictures folder. And as you can see, this is the two example pictures. And this person is my friend that will act as our fake target. And I want to use this specific image. So I will simply drag it into the terminal like this. And now we have the command complete. EXIF tool, which is the name of the tool that will extract the metadata of this image. And we're giving it the image location, which is located in the pictures directory. I'm gonna hit enter. And as you can see, EXIF tool has extracted all of the metadata out of that image. Now it captured some important data, such as the device manufacturer, which is Apple, the date and time it was created, and most importantly, we are able to see the exact location of where this image was taken. 
because we have the GPS position in here. And these are the exact GPS coordinates that this image was taken in. So if we plug these GPS coordinates into a tool, it will actually show us the exact location. That's why this information is so valuable because we can extract so many detailed information about the target device and find their exact location. So this is a reason to be careful when sending out or uploading your pictures online. Now, I also want to show you another tool that we can use for image OSINT. And let me go back to the pictures folder. And this is my second image that I will use. So for example, let's say that this person is the target and I want to know where this place or where this building exactly is. And I also want to find similar images to this one on the internet. To do that, we can use a search engine tool called Yandex. And I have the website opened in here. I will include its link in the description of this video as always. Now Yandex is a search engine tool that can be used by hackers to gather information about a target or anyone else, such as finding images of the target's workplace, home, or even family members. This information can also be used for further social engineering attacks. So to search for an image, I will hit this icon next to the search button. From here, I will select the image that I want to search and I have it in my pictures folder. So I will navigate to the pictures directory. And the picture I want to use is this one. I'm gonna hit open. And as you can see, here we have the similar images section and it's actually pretty accurate as you can see. Down here we have the sites that contain similar information found in the image. So it's giving us back some social media websites. And if we keep looking at the search results, we will eventually find this exact image. But I don't want to waste your time with this, you get the idea. What I like about Yandex is that we can search for a part of the image and not the entire image. So as you can see here on the image itself, there are three circles, each circle would search a specific part of the image. In this case, I want to find the location of this building. So I will click this circle, which selects this building. And as you can see, it's now showing us the search results that contain the building itself. And within the similar images, we can see the actual name of the building. For example, this picture right here. And as you can see, in this case, it's called Bellagio. So let's confirm this information by Googling the name. So let me search for Bellagio fountain, hit enter, go to the images. And as you can see, using the image search, I was able to find the exact building location in which the target took that picture in. In this case, this building is located in Paradise, Nevada, which is in the United States. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal if hackers were able to find this kind of information? Well, this information is so important because it allows hackers to generate different types of attacks. For example, using this information, hackers can execute a much stronger social engineering attack by generating a phishing campaigns that are specific to the target himself. Since they now know that this target has been to this place, in this case, it's Nevada, Las Vegas. Hackers can also use this image and images similar to this one to create fake social media profiles that look authentic. And from there, they would be able to use these fake profiles to launch other social engineering attacks and even use them for financial fraud. So this is another reason why you should be careful on what to upload on social media. Next, I want to show you another great tool that can be used for image OSINT. Now let's say that the attacker has an image of the target, such as this one, and they want to find more images that contain the target's face or facial features on the internet, as well as find people who look similar to him to this target on the internet. That's where PimEyes comes into play. And I have the website opened in here. I will include this link in the description of this video as well. Now PimEyes is a tool that uses facial recognition to search for images that contain similar facial features on the internet. We can also find out the websites where specific faces has been published in. Think of it as Google search but for faces using AI and facial recognition. 
So let's see how it works. I will upload our fake target image in here. I will click on upload a photo and my picture is located in the pictures directory and it's number one. I'm gonna double click it to upload it. And we can also add more pictures in here of the target. To enhance the search results, we can also specify a search time. So for example, if we wanted to search for pictures published in the past 24 hours, past week, and so on. We can also tell it to remove adult content from the search results by ticking the safe search. And the deep search here is only for advanced users. And I am not an advanced user because I will have to pay for that. So I will not be subscribing to this feature. And let's accept the terms and conditions. I have read the privacy and let's start the search. And as you can see, the results show other images of the target in multiple occasions. It's actually very, very accurate. And you would be surprised of what to find if you upload a picture of yourself in here. So in the case of our fake target in here, we found multiple pictures of him. And we even have an image to when he was younger. Now some of the images here may not be the same person, but they still look somewhat similar. Now as you can see here, there is a website listed for each image. And that means that this image was taken from that website. But if we click on it and click on the website again, you'll see that they want you to pay to view the full URL. In my case, I don't want to purchase their service, but we still can see some part of the website. So you get the idea. And there is actually another trick we can use is if we hover over the website, right click it, click on inspect, you'll be able to see part of the website. This is still not the full URL. So they are still masking the other parts. But now you are at least able to copy it, paste it and search for it and search for that website. So you get the idea of how dangerously accurate this tool is. Now the tools that I have shown you can be used by both white hat and black hat hackers. It can also be used by investigators who are looking for a lost person or even a criminal. So these tools can be used in different fields with both malicious or ethical intent. So now you might be wondering what can we do to protect ourselves from these types of attacks. First and foremost, be mindful of the images you share online and the information they contain. Check the metadata in your images and remove any sensitive data before sharing them. And if you are concerned about the information that's already out there, consider using a tool like Pimize to search for these images and remove any images that could potentially be used against you. As you guys have seen, image OSINT is an important skill to have when it comes to ethical hacking. Now it can be also dangerous when it comes to, to protecting yourself from it. So please be careful of what to share online and on social media. By doing this, it will help you secure yourself from social engineering attacks. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video.